Okay, guys, welcome to Theme Park. So I've already entered the nickname Bovine to give me a bit of an uh, advantage by giving me the upgraded rides and some money. It's always an option. Um, here we go. Enter in my name. Uh, I'm just going to put Joyland as my part name. So uh, throughout this playthrough, we're going to do six years, just so I can show you what happens and the uh, development with that. And uh, then the seventh day, I will show you all of the um, onboard ride videos. I'm going to start off on easy. It gets really hard really, really quick. I'm going to have all the opponents in. Uh, it's not my first game, although it has been a few years, admittedly, since I've played this. But here we go. So, off to the good old UK. It's free to buy. Okay, so it's got to remember the controls. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is uh, give myself some money. This is that box um, for the bovine cheat. So put your nickname in as bovine, square, circle, and X together. Give you the money. You slow the game down, so uh, it'll be about 10 minutes a year. You start by putting the pathway all the way around the park. Up. So on the left, I plan on putting the roller coaster and rubber tubing, maybe a few other little attractions. Uh, a go kart track, I'll put wherever. And the reason for this is so I can go for three major trophies, which is longest and highest roller coaster, world's biggest rubber tubing, world's biggest go kart tracks. Go kart track, admittedly, doesn't have to be too big though. So. Uh, let's have a look. Well, wow, to start this, um, there we go. I'm gonna pop this in the middle. I'll make like a really nice sort of uh, centre focus for the park. Uh, I've, I have a feeling, to be honest, it's not gonna stay very tidy for long. Once you start putting things in, there we go. I quite like the, the fountain. Uh, so this is the PlayStation version, guys, as you can tell. Um, so you don't get as much stuff as the PC. Oops, a bit too far. I think I can still bring a path in tight, actually, here. Yeah. Let's quickly adjust this. Sorry, I know it doesn't really affect it, but... Uh, like I said, I want to try to keep things neat. Eventually, though, it's going to be out of control with uh, winding pathways and stuff, so... Brilliant. So it looks off center, but it actually is in there. It's because of the angle. Uh, you can't flip it in this game, it's uh, stuck in this view. So what I'm going to do first is build myself like a little um, fast food concession uh, strip on this side. Um, keeps most of the parks littered then in one, one place um, for the handyman to pick up, which I'll show you in a bit. So we're already into April, barely done anything. Um, Tricky bits can remember in how to open the gates. I've got an idea how to do it. So um, you'll see that the when the selection menu comes up, it's actually in purple uh, on the PlayStation version because I've already got the developed rides. Uh, so the person X is like, you know, you do you press square and you get the more developed versions of them. Um, it affects the rides more, more their reliability and things like that. A lot uh, tend to last a little bit longer. Uh, steakhouse in there, saloon. Can't fit the toilets. Okay, how do I open this up? Um, sorry about this. Uh, Nope, not, not that one. Nope. Uh, hold it in, start, maybe? Yep, there we go. So hold the circle button in and press start, opens up gates. So at the minute, there's no rise, obviously, I've got fast food. Uh, I want to throw a few things down first, so let's get a security guard in. Just keep an eye on things. Very busy down here. Already comes to a higher price of our steaks, and there's nothing going on. Um, 
So in we go. So this is where you uh, order stock. Don't need anything at the minute. Just to make sure we've got bits in. But if I go back into there, onto this little light bulb, uh, it's like our think tank. So what you do, uh, go up to the top here, draws as much of the resources as you can. I normally take it all the way out. So it'll plow money uh, behind the scenes into development. So and I've pumped it all into warehouses and buses. So it'll give me more warehouse capacity and more bus capacity so eventually that little icon at the end that looks like a house will um allow me to buy bigger warehouses so for the first year or so i'm probably gonna run out of stock quite a bit i'm not gonna worry about it too much because i'll be then making revenue on the rides um once the warehouse is ready to go it's almost the to stock drop so if i do run out um you know give me a rough year but uh we can pick that back up turn it around uh, just make sure I've got backup stock going. That should then fill up that um, block there. Like I said, I'm, I'm thinking I've run out, but by that point, the warehouse will be ready developed so I can go on to the next stage. Okay, so I suppose we're going to get some rides in. Um, there we go. I'll start with the basics, put a bounty castle in. Don't necessarily yeah. last very long. So, uh, yeah, place down the. the, 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 the put down the queue. Yeah, I don't know how to make these things. Uh, to one bounty castle. Put a slide in. Yeah. There's all the basics down the front here. And give me more room for the main attractions later on. There we go, that's a tree house as well now. Maze. Yeah. Um, so all of these are quite reliable by the Bounty Castle and the Snake. They're quite prone to blow up. So after a year or so, I'm going to have to keep an eye on them. I've filled a gap in, so that's like a shooting gallery for ducks. Too small there. I will put a coconut tray in. There we go. So it's always a winch about ticket prices, but I've not really got anything here. So that one's like one of those horse derbies. You know, where you throw the balls in and it makes the horses move. I'll put a couple more loose in. There we go. So we've got a few little people in now. Buses are slowly getting bigger as well. But yeah, I never really know how big to make these queues. Um, there we go, some light in it. Doesn't really affect this version, I mean, it stays daytime all the time. Uh, but the PC when it did get darker points. But, we see how we go. So we're looking quite tidy in the minute, but it's not, it's going to be messy by the time we get the big rides in. You front end rides don't getting quite as neat and you get little people just wandering around see we've got rubbish already I don't know where the handyman are for there he's going the wrong way where it's all clear uh, so put mechanic down for a couple of the rides let's put a couple for now oh, maybe I should have put a bigger key thing in work so then with little people wandering around and they'll get a message off the guy so we're into november already so come up for the end of the year let's see how we get on so this guys is a monorail and then we put one of these uh, top middle and left and right Just helps to spread the people around the park. Yeah. 
There we go. So, I need one more. Oh, that's the year done, guys. So, I will leave you with it, and uh, I'll catch you next video. So, let's have a look at some certificates before we go.